you learned it. Um, you told us before the game about the old captain of the guide. How does it feel to be captain the British and Irish Lions after one of the most incredible days in professional sports ever, I would imagine? Yeah, look, what I chatted about um, the other day was about how happy and, and lucky I was to lead the group of guys out that were going out to play and, and the way they carried themselves from only having a moment's notice that the game was going ahead was fantastic today and like I can't reiterate how um, how happy I am they've been able to do it and how proud of them I am. What does it say about this group of players that you've actually come Yeah, look, we chatted briefly about it before the game. Um, there's any list of excuses that we could have used. We could have put to each other. We could have backed out a tackle. Maybe like dropped the heads a wee bit. But, but the guys didn't. They dug in for each other, not to make sure that 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 we kept what we want to do on track for this tour. Um, it was obviously a very difficult day. There's a lot of guys confused. Didn't get to carry out their usual match day routines. There's just so many. Other reasons, apart from the obvious ones, that, that guys could have turned to, but they didn't. Um, but like I said, I can't reiterate how, how proud I am of them. Can you explain what it was like sitting in your room this afternoon, waiting, not knowing what was going to happen until, until such a uh, relatively late period? Yeah, look, we, we ended up getting tested twice today, um, sitting waiting for results. Guys not sure if they were... If they, not only was the game going to go ahead, if they were going to be positive, if they were going to be close contacts, um, so many different variables. So you're sitting sort of on the edge of your bed waiting to go. We were being told to prepare as if the game was going ahead. And I think as, 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 as easy as that is to say, it's maybe not as easy to do. So you're waiting to go. I, I was All the guys, the bus was due to leave at 10 past six. And the guy, at six o'clock, the guys still weren't 100% sure, the guys were sitting in their, in their red polos and shorts, sitting at the edge of their beds, waiting to get the all clear so they would leave their room to go and play. And to have that sort of lack of preparation on game day, where we'd usually have, um, we'd usually have a walkthrough, we'd usually um, share a couple of meals together, we would usually have a very different day than we had today, but, but for the guys to pitch up the way they did, it's great. Two matches played in Africa, two wins and 50 points scored in both of them. Be delighted with how the tour has started, at least on the rugby field. Yeah, look, I, I think um, I think the guys have been have been excellent um, preparing for the games and obviously carrying out uh, their their roles within the games. Uh, they've been two, although it mightn't seem it in the scoreboard, two very difficult games. Guys getting through, playing at altitude, trying to get their breath, trying to trying to put their hand up for that test spot, but at the same time being being as uh, as good a team player as possible. I think it's been great to see, and and I said earlier on, and, and I and I fully mean it. Um, I think we're challenging Gats and giving Gats more headaches, which which is which is good for us and good for him. It's probably the sort of day that should end with a beer and a sing song in the team room. Are you allowed to do that? We've had a sing song. Um, no beers as of yet, but um, we'll wait till we get back to the hotel and, and and see what's put on for us. Um. Well, it's a busy, busy, busy day, busy day, kind of following everything and following your things. But um, I just kind of, want, just kind of thinking about the lads isolated and having to be kind of confined to their rooms. But uh, just kind of thinking, it must be tough on Conor Murray, you know, like made the tour captain, didn't play the last game, was expected to kind of be involved tonight, and now he's kind of isolating in his room. Uh, you got to kind of feel for, for someone like Conor and some of the other lads as well. Yeah, look, it's obviously mightily frustrating for them. Um, that was. The guys who managed to get released from their hotel rooms today are probably the lucky ones. The ones back at the hotel are, are I'm sure they're devastated. I'm sure they're excited about playing or, or even being involved in the next game, which, which again is thrown up in the air as to what happens there. Um, I suppose it's the nature of the beast that we've been dealing with probably for the last 18 months or whatever. Games have been called off with club and country. And, um, and by this stage, I think players are kind of getting used to the topsy-turvy nature, but, but I'm sure this one here for him will be... Um, disappointing, but knowing Connor, um, he'll bounce back. He'll he'll be as as happy as possible um, with, with the hand that he's been dealt, and um, and he'll be preparing in whatever way the the, the support staff are going to be able to prepare him for for the next time he's going to be able to train or play. And, and what's the, the sense like you know for you guys? For us, we're kind of looking at it from afar, seeing like you know. 
Georgia that folds the spring bucks or sells positive tests. It seems a bit odd as well, but you know, what's your sense of people over there? I know you're not getting to talk to as many people in South Africa as you normally would, but you know, are, are they just full on wanting this tour to stay on and, and just keep going if you can? Yeah, well, it, it's difficult because we wouldn't see anyone from outside of our bubble, like no one at all. Um, we we get up, we go to get get on the bus, which is cordoned off. We get on the bus and go to training, end through gates, which are cordoned off, and on the training field, back on the bus and back to the hotel. That's all. That's all we get. Um, the hotel staff would be the only the only people that that um, maybe cooking food or, or behind the hotel desk would be the one only ones that you, you might have a touch of getting contact with, but. Looking at it from like a media point of view, obviously a lot of teams getting cases. It's it's rife over here, and and like this is this is a, an upset that I'm sure the the management had planned for. It, I don't think it's overly surprising given the amount of cases and how readily it's how readily it's spreading over here. Um, but but for for the guys to to pitch up the way they did, like I said again, I'll say it again. I'm really proud of them. Okay, cheers, Ian. Thanks. Cheers. Um, it's, I don't know. I said it might just be coincidence. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, I think uh, I wouldn't be usually one for believing in coincidences, but I can't think of any specific logical reason right now as to why it would be. Um, I don't. I don't know to be honest. Cheers. Um, well, I, I suppose like for a lot of the players here, they, they won't get test, they won't get test caps. So it's about enjoying the whole experience. It's like the guys are getting up for these games as, as much as they, I reckon, if you compare it to the times, would be getting up for test caps. Like, like, and it's about enjoying the experience and, and taking every opportunity to do that. Um, I think that um, if if you didn't do that and, and if you were if you knew the test series, if there was going to be no test series, we would enjoy these games as much as we could, poss could possibly. So I suppose that would probably be a similar logic, definitely logic I think I would take um, to ensure, I suppose, that, that we have as good a time as possible on and off the field. And, um, and, and hopefully the test games do go ahead and these games are preparing as well for them. Yeah, look, look, like I said, everyone's trying to put their hand up for a position, and, and the more headaches it gets, gets the better. And and I think uh, we're we're we've turned out to be an incredibly tight bunch of lads, and I think it's it's great. You can see the definitely see the the team bonds thriving thriving in the squad, and and. I think we're seeing that on the pitch, and hopefully we continue to see it for the rest of the tour. Tim, is that up as loud as it goes? Uh, yeah, just about. Yeah, At last one now. Hey, congratulations on the win. Um, I just was asking. It kind of just follows up on what Rory was asking there about, like, where do you feel you are at with your own game? How much of a different player do you think you are in comparison to four years ago when you toured in New Zealand? Um, yeah, I suppose maybe in, in, in some aspects, maybe slightly more mature, but I'm a bit more calm and I'm, I'm able to sort of organise myself around my, my training week a wee bit better. When I look back at where I was then, um, uh, probably hadn't had enough or a huge amount of experience in, in, in holding leadership roles in teams, which I think 
um, has definitely helped me over over the last number of uh, the number of seasons. Um, but I, I think all in all, probably maturity would probably be the the. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm the most mature person in the world, but but um, definitely is a is a is a stride forward from the last tour.